Yo, what's going on, family? Hitting you with a, uh, I'm hitting you with a tutorial here, uh, a long overdue tutorial on one of, not one of, the most popular video I have on my YouTube channel right now. It's Redbone Childish Gambino cover. I played it on the electric guitar, but I'm going to show you on the acoustic. I'm really excited that this song got so popular, this cover got so popular, because I learned new things about my voice. I really enjoyed recording it. I felt like the lighting was just perfect, like I waited for the right moment. And I recorded it one day before, and it didn't feel right, and I decided to wait um, till the daylight was just right. <laughs> Until it just feel right. <laughs> so it just, I, I'm happy about that. So anyways, if you don't know how to play bar chords, I've got a video out for that already. Please look that up. I'm going to assume everyone watching this knows how to play bar chords. There we go. So we're barring on the fifth fret. This is a C major seven. We're in the key of B major, but we're really playing, you know, with the capo on the fourth. So it's all relative, right? So um, we're going to be playing this C major chord, which is really like a, what is that? E major, I guess. Yeah, it's an E major. Uh, seven, but we're playing it like in C major seven. So capo on the fourth fret, everything relative to that. Now we're on the third fret, barring the third fret, right? We're going to put our uh, index finger on the third string down on the D string. Don't play the top E string. And then we're going to put our middle finger on the third, oh, I'm sorry, on the fourth string down, which is the G string. G string, and then pinky is going to be on the B string, which is second string from the bottom, on the fifth fret. So that's what we have here. Very common uh, R&B chord you'll hear, jazz chord. You can do some hammer rolls and stuff with that. But, and then we're gonna go to uh, just a regular D major chord. So barring all the way down the fifth fret, again, skipping the top string. And then you're gonna skip the fourth string, you're gonna bar the next three strings with just your index finger. So it's regular D major, really. Uh, guitar's a little out of tune. You can play it down here, but the reason why I bar right here because it allows me to keep it going because I'm going down the neck with these bars. So I could do this. But then I have to come back down for this E minor 7 down here. And I'd rather just... So barring on the 7th fret, again, not playing the top E string. You're going to put your index finger on the third string down. That's a D string uh, on the, this is all getting relative now. Uh, so just one fret behind the, the double dotted fret, which is the 13th fret. But relative to the capo, that's five, seven, ninth fret, right? And then you're gonna skip a string, leave this one open, uh, leave that uh, G string open just barred, uh, and then you're gonna put the middle finger on the B string on the eighth fret, or the 12th fret, the, on the, where the two dots are on the top of your guitar. So you get this E minor sound. In the beginning of the song, I kinda do this like, which is me putting my pinky uh, on the 12th, 13th, 14th, 14th fret, or the 10th fret, depending on how you're relating to the capo. I put my pinky down there, and I just, I just kind of do a little slap. And with the reverb and all that on there, it makes it sound like I'm doing way more than what I'm actually doing, but it really is just a daylight. And so that's all the verses and the hook. It's just this. Daylight, uh, I wake up feeling like you won't. And I just kind of, right before I go back, I go a little chuck. Play right, and I'm just literally playing each string, just one little, just running my thumb down. It's so simple. And then the last one's kind of just one full strum. And sometimes I do a little hammer on. So same, you know, 
shape, but I'm just uh, barring and then hammering the other two string, the other two fingers on the strings. It's a little harder to play it on the acoustic. I'm not gonna lie. So that's the that's the verse, and then we'll get to the hook. So if if you want it. So it starts off on an E minor, or just a basic E minor. You know how to play E minor, right? I'm not gonna go through that. That's a really basic. If you know how to play bar chords, you know how to play E minor. If you don't know how to play E minor, I don't know how you know how to play bar chords. So there's that. So if you want it, but I'm focusing more on the on the bass root notes rather than the whole. If you want it, I'm not doing that. I'm just if you want it, and I'm leaving my palm on the strings to kind of get this muted sound, so it doesn't ring out. Kind of just want to write this little muted, and I'm just leaving my palm on the string. If you want it, you can have it. Uh, which is you go from there to a uh, B minor, no, A minor. So go, and then you're gonna bar on the fifth fret. Uh, play an A minor, which is a uh, uh, ring finger on the second st string down on the seventh fret. On that D string there, I mean on the A string there. And then tuck the pinky right below it on the D string, same fret, seventh fret. But again, you're really kind of just focusing on this root note here. And so it goes from, it's kind of a cool progression this song does, it's kind of weird. Um, you go from this A minor to this G minor. So same shape, you're gonna take that same shape and just walk it down two frets. And then walk that same shape just one step down now. Which is a F sharp minor, which is kind of a weird thing to play in this chord progression. That's why I love this song, it's so fun. So it goes, if you want it, you can A minor. To the G. It's this G minor. If you want it, you can have it. If you need it. See, I'm just focusing on the on the root note there. I'm not playing the whole thing out. We can make it. And it comes back to this B minor. So you go from here. We can. Which you could do this. But I like to stay on the root, so we go. So take that same shape and now walk it all the way down to the seventh fret, the bar in the seventh fret down, and keeping the two these two fingers are gonna be on the on the um, ninth fret. We can make it. Oh. Back to that E minor I already showed you. The E minor seven I already showed. You. Oh, if you want it. And it's going back to the same verse progress. If you want it, you can have it. And then I. I throw in a little, I don't know if the original has this, but I definitely throw in this little B major seven chord, which is uh, uh, barring on the seventh fret, uh, ring finger on the second string down on the ninth fret on that A string. Uh, skip that string, leave that string open or just barred, and then put the middle finger on the G string on the eighth fret or well, Fred, if you're getting relative to that, so. So you go. Um, if you want it, you can have it. If you need it, we can make it. Oh, if you want that D, you can E, e minor. Uh, but stay woke. I learned this part. Baby creeping. If you not black, don't say niggas creeping. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Not even while you're alone. Baby creeping. And they gon' find you. Catch you sleeping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do that little B major seven again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stay woke. Stay be creeping. Now don't you close your eyes. And that's pretty much the whole song. Um, 
even when they do, uh, you go back into the verse chord of uh, verse chords, and then even when you get to the part where how to get so scandalous, you're just really just doing a. Uh, I'd get so scandalous. The same thing we already know. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd get so scandalous. I'd rather be with you. I'm just playing the same verse chords for that. So. That's pretty much the whole song, y'all. That's it. Red Bone. Acoustic cover. Love y'all.